Hello and welcome to the Rugged Rock Hound. It has been a while. It's been winter, as you can see by the snow around. I don't know how well you can see the mountains off in the distance, but there's definitely snow over there. But down here in the valley, there's relatively little snow. And it's cold, it's about 35 degrees out here. So I managed to find a small break in my schooling when I was it, that I was able to come out, and the state actually warmed up enough for this to be possible. <laughs> so I've taken advantage in coming out this one time. I probably won't be able to get out rock hunting again until April, but we'll see. Anyway, we're out here on a road called Agate Road. And if you head back that way along the road, it'll take you to the abandoned town of Cisco. And if you go that way about oh, 40 miles, you'll be hitting Colorado. And we're just down from interstate um, I-40 and the road's probably called Agate for a good reason, right? <laughs> so we're gonna check out this wash right here. This looks a lot like Yellow Cat, the area we did, the, the cliffs up there. So there's probably Agate coming out of those. But more importantly, I'm hoping if we can get down below this unit, we might be able to get into the petrified wood layer and hopefully maybe find some petrified wood if we go down. Look at that though. It was bam. All right, this is looking like the stuff we saw at Yellow Cat. Look at that. It's got the red right in the middle. And we also found the stuff that kind of looks like wood, but I think it's the aberrate that's been replaced. Because see how the fibrous nature goes like that? Yeah. So that's not wood. That's the, uh, the barite that's being replaced. I mean, my tires are good right now. You sure? You don't want that one right there? Dude, that's a perfect tire. Isn't that the right size for your vehicle, too? Yeah. And this is kind of a kind of an orange brown purple jasper. Finally, we're seeing a lot of jasper. A little bit of agate here and there. Oh, that's that's a prettier one right there. Usually we're getting these little teeny seams of red. And once again, finding more of that replaced barite. Here, I'm going to walk right in front of your film. Oh, good. That's yeah, it's nice kind of a bubbly little bit of Casadoni there. Definitely get a lot of Jasper along this. Jasper tends to be kind of the brown, tan, sometimes red colors. Get them all over the place, though. Now that looks more like petrified wood. That might be petrified wood. Hey Tim, I think I found our first piece of petrified wood. Because it's got the squiggly and it looks so different from the other stuff. Yeah, that's petrified wood. Yep, found our first piece. Found a big piece of the uh, barrack replaced stuff. Yeah, it's definitely not very because it's not heavy enough, so it's been replaced. You can see the ends of some of the crystals there. Not well formed, but it's a pretty big piece. It's pretty cool. That's pretty nice looking right there. It's all fractured though. <laughs> the color of it kind of reminds me of sunstone. Decent color though. Oh yeah. I just wish it was more fractured. Yeah. Sometimes wishes come true, sometimes they don't. This one had a little bit of color. It's got some red in it. Well, quite a bit. And right in the middle, we've got a little bit of yellowish to purple. All right. More uh, replaced barret. That's a nice looking stream puddle, huh? Yeah, that's pretty. I'll keep that. Petrified wood. Oh, did Tim find his first piece? Let's take a look. It's got a, the, all the stuff going through it. Huh. I really think that's petrified it makes wood. Makes you wonder. Well, there's no other stuff that's on it like it. It does look like it. 
It could just be layered agate in that shape. Uh, that's a possibility. Yep, I'd say that's a potential. That's some potential wood right there. Here's some more replaced barite, but it's a much better color. It's I got some red in it. Getting better. So we're following the stream. And we're up on top now, so Arches National Park is way in the background. There's the Mante Los Sal Mountains. And I was trying to get into that river gorge where it drops in. I didn't realize how far we were. So we're gonna get back on the road, follow the road down, and then try to drop down in from there. So we went ahead and came further down the road. So we were way back over there, just kind of exploring. And now we're up here where we're above the big wash that we want to get down into to look for wood. And now we're seeing a lot more agate. Take a look. Getting some nice reds in here. Looking much better. Much better. It's Now it's everywhere. This looks like that one area when we went in the agate and it was just, the agate was everywhere. Yeah, it's seriously like that other place we went to where it was just agate everywhere. Oh yeah. It's got similar color to it with the black and then inside you got red and then the bleh colors. <laughs> That's what I like to say. But, dang, it's just everywhere. <laughs> it's a big chunks of it. Ugly color, but big chunks. But some of it looks like gypsum. Big pieces. Now if you can find one that's just exceptionally beautiful. This one's better. This one's getting there. I do like it. Getting some better color now. And patterns. Look at that one. That one's pretty. It's red and yellow with the red banding through it. Really nice. Take them over here. If you really want some. Oh, more of that. <laughs> there it is, just like when we found over in Yellow Cat. Look at that. Oh, I like that. It's a nice one. That might be nice. It's got some red showing through a little bit. Places. So we entered the wash now. So we're parked up on the hill there. And we just walked down here. So there's agate all over the top. And there's another layer of agate down lower. And now we're into the Navajo sandstone. So the petrified forest member is below it. And I don't think it's gonna cut down deep enough here to get to the wood. It's got decent color. Oh, look at that fat behemoth of a rock. <laughs> I spy agate. I spy. Do you see any agate? No, I spy this though. Ooh, got some quartz crystals growing on it. That's nice. That's beautiful. Oh. Yeah, lots of red through here. Oh, occasionally some other things. It's all right. I'm not trying to poop, okay? I'm trying to get a rock out. That's good. See, that's nice. The red coming through. Nice. Okay, so we came down off of where we were looking for agate way up that way. And now we're down by the historic Cisco Pumpkin Pumping. <laughs> I can't talk today. Pumping station along the Colorado River. So now we're down at the Colorado River. And we're just going to kind of hike around and look at stuff and just have a good time. Welcome to the Colorado River in January. Near Cisco. It's moving pretty quick. Not bad. All right, we are back from the trip. It's actually been about a week or so since I've been back. It's w winter here, so we have to deal with winter weather. And right now it's kind of dry and not too cold, so I figured now would be a good time to go ahead and take a look at the stuff we found. And we didn't find a whole lot on this trip, but we did find some nice stuff, and it was a fun exploration. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at these nicer pieces. All right, I already I went ahead and put the macro lens on, so it should be in focus when I put it right about here. And 
previously when I've used the macro lens, when I move it around, it jars it too much. So I'm put it on a tripod and this should make it a little easier to see stuff. Take my glove off so we can look at these. So this one I found is a nice little bit of botryoidal chalcedony and really nice. I wish there were bigger pieces like that. <laughs> nice. This was a nice piece of that eh, jasper slash agate that I found. A lot of the pieces were not this quality, and so we didn't keep a whole lot of them. But this one was actually quite nice. This is a piece of what I think is a piece of petrified wood. Some petrified wood is kind of hard to tell. But it does look like it has some of the texture. But it's just an okay piece of wood. This, this one Tim found. And this one also might be a piece of petrified wood. Once again, kind of hard to tell. From the outside, it kind of has the texture. So I think it is one. It's probably more likely a piece of wood than the other one, but overall, color's just not that great. But still, it's a piece of petrified wood. This was a larger piece of the barite that's been replaced by agate. So you kind of got some crystal terminations going on there. They just didn't turn out the best. But yeah, there's so much barite replaced by agate in that area. And this one was my favorite find. This is a large cobblestone that would have come out of a conglomerate layer out there. And it's just a nice jasper. It's got all kinds of nice colors and patterns going through it. <laughs> yeah, I liked this one a lot. This was my find of the trip. And Tim's find of the trip was that piece of petrified wood. And there you have it. That's what we found. Not a whole lot on this trip. It was an exploration trip to an area that we just kind of wanted to give it a try. It wasn't in any book. We just wanted to explore. And as is the case with many explorations, you sometimes don't find a lot. But we still found some nice stuff. It's kind of a neat area. And it was just fun to get out again. Unfortunately, I've got a lot of school coming up now. I'm going to be really, really busy for the next 12 weeks, so it's going to be very difficult for me to get another video out before May. But if I do get the opportunity, I'll go ahead and get another video out. Otherwise, I hope to see you in May and hope to get back to making more of these videos, hopefully once a week. And remember, there's treasure everywhere. <laughs>